Hello, my name is Stefan Four, and I work as a technical trainer and a JNCP proctor within Juniper Network's Educational Services Organization. Today we're going to be taking a look at CLI shortcuts that you might be able to use in your day-to-day -day experience using Junos, which can hopefully make your life a little bit easier and allow you to navigate through the CLI a bit more efficiently. So let's start off by taking a look at a couple of the Emacs command sequences that you can use for navigating throughout the CLI. So here we can see we're at the edit protocols BGP level of the hierarchy. Let's say we want to create a new neighbor. So let's go ahead and do that. So you can see I'm basically creating a new neighbor right here. Um, I've established it as an external type BGP relationship. Now let's say as I'm typing this config, I realize that in fact, I didn't mean to configure it as an external type, but rather what I'd rather do is configure it as internal. So I have a couple of options for moving throughout this, this command line here. I can obviously use the left arrow key or the backspace to move one character at a time. But if I only want to change that type from external to type internal, there's actually a much more efficient manner that we can do so. So we can use an Emacs command sequence known as escape B. So let's go escape B. And what that's going to do is it's going to move the cursor back one word at a time. So now it's moved me back two words. And now I can actually change this BGP neighbor from a type external to a type internal. And you can see how much more efficient that is by simply taking advantage of some of these Emacs command sequences. Now you can see the cursor is in the middle of the line. Uh, there's some other command sequences we can do. Control A will move us to the beginning of the line, and Control E will move us to the end of the line. Now let's say that I want to actually delete this last uh, part of the statement out here. So instead of adding in neighbor 10.100.1.1, I'd really like to add in neighbor 20.100.1.1. So once again, I can delete this one character at a time, but a much more efficient way to do so is actually to use Control W. Control W actually deletes one word at a time. So now I simply delete that entire last portion of the line, and I can add my new neighbor statement. And we can use Control W to move back and delete as many levels uh, in our command as we want. Finally, another very useful command is the uh, Control U or the Control X, which is going to allow us to delete an entire line. So maybe we start typing this, but we realize you know, that's not even the command that we want to do at all. So we simply do Control X, and we can delete that entire line. So let's move on to our next example, where we're going to combine the top command with other commands so that we can show or change our configuration in a much more efficient manner. So continuing on where we left off previously, let's go ahead and configure our BGP neighbor. We'll go ahead and configure it as an external type BGP neighbor relationship. And we'll configure the neighbor with an IP address of 10.100.1.1. Now you can see we've obviously configured an eBGP type neighbor. We need to ensure that our local autonomous system number is configured correctly. Now local autonomous system numbers are actually configured under the edit routing options level of the hierarchy within Junos. So we need to ensure that we've properly configured that. Now we could navigate to that portion of the configuration by doing a top and then an edit routing options and then a show. But obviously, this isn't the most efficient way to do things. We simply wanted to verify whether or not the autonomous system number was configured correctly. But what we really want to do is remain inside the edit protocols BGP level of the hierarchy. So what we can do is, instead of actually navigating and parking ourselves in a different level of the hierarchy, we can use the top command and join that with other commands. For example, we use top and combine that with the show routing options. And what that's going to do is it's going to execute the show routing options command from the top or the root level of the hierarchy. 
And here we can see we're actually looking at a different stanza within our configuration, but we still remain inside the edit protocols BGP level of our hierarchy. So you can see he, how this is much more efficient for us, and we've actually saved a quite, a, quite a bit of time. We can actually use the set command in conjunction with top as well, so maybe our autonomous system number should be something other than 801. Uh, we could do a top set routing options, autonomous system number, 701. And then, of course, now we can see the results of that. We've changed the autonomous system number. All the while, we still remain inside edit protocols, BGP level of the hierarchy. These are just a few of the simple CLI shortcuts that you can use that will save time and help you to navigate through the CLI and work with it in a much more efficient manner. It's obviously difficult to cover all of these in, in such a short time frame, so I highly advise you take a look at the Junos Operating System CLI User Guide which can be downloaded from our support site. And also we cover a lot more of these CLI shortcuts and other useful tips in our Introduction to Junos Operating System course. Thanks and have a great day. Juniper Learning Bytes. View more at www.juniper.net slash learningbytes. They're free, concise lessons on specific subjects, relevant for all skill levels, taught by training experts, and available whenever and wherever you're ready to learn. Juniper Learning Bytes. Expand your knowledge bit by bit.